So last night in the middle of the night, Pepper was in the upstairs kids bathroom where she never is. But she was like scratching away at the floor. It was so annoying. I was like, ah, and I locked her downstairs, just closed the baby gate. And Max said when he got up this morning, went like 6.30, Mac, she was desperately wanting to go outside. Just scratching, wanting to get outside. And then we had it blocked off so she couldn't get under the chicken coop because that's where we thought she would probably want to have babies. She dug it out and she got in there. Pepper! Where is she, Ma? Pepper! I pulled this board off, so I... And it's right there. Of course, I dressed in my nicer capris. <laughs> I just left her here because it's easier to Yeah, access. well, you can see she's been digging. Mm -hmm. Pepper, come on out, Pepper. Pepper, come on out. I'm not out. sure if she, ha I don't think she had. Can you move that board so I can put my knees on it? I'm trying to see if there's puppies. Do you think that was Pepper? Come on out! Come on out, Pepper! Come on, Pepper! Come on out! Come on, Pepper! Come on! No, she's right here. She's the, we can see her. She's literally. Pepper, you want an egg? Just show it to her. Pepper. No, she's not really the one that eats eggs. It's She'll crazy. eat an egg. You not crack it or something? No, you're just gonna make a mess right there. If she doesn't want an egg, Pepper. I don't think that's gonna work. I was just gonna. Come on, Pepper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on out. I already given her little pieces. I don't want to give her too much. We're gonna try again with a juicier piece of meat. So we have it real dark down here for Pepper. So she can just have her nice dark nest. Oh yeah, puppy. You're okay. We started all this around seven o'clock this morning. It's now almost three o'clock and she came upstairs. So I grabbed a lead rope and brought her outside and all she did was come from the door and lay down here. She stood here for a minute and then just curled up again. So now I gotta get her back downstairs. She decided maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Been in the basement though, in the basement's probably like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius. And outside right now, it's like 30 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was it's thinking, Mac. it's Mac. Mac. Thanks Mac. So I think Pepper was just a little shocked when she came outside and it was hotter than she expected. So we were out at a birthday party, but Marius stayed home. Oh, and we have two sweet puppies. That's the smaller one. And then this one is bigger. Okay, I'll bring you back to your mama. So she's quite relaxed here for like an mm, hour and a half or so now. Can I please hold them? Nope, dad says you guys aren't holding them until she's... Look at that white spot. So I think she's relaxing between horns right now. Because a dog uterus has like two horns and between horns they relax. So I think that's where she's at right now. I put this kibble with raw eggs out earlier and she's... I just brought it in and she is hungry eating it. Yeah, good girl. Oh, hi, 
my precious? It's hard to tell, but they have a bit of brown near their eyes. This one's a boy. It's smaller, and this one's a girl. Oh, yeah, I'll give you back to your mama. Here. Let's put you back in here. Yeah. Go back to nursing. Go back to nursing. Yeah. There you go. Pepper. So there's still just two, and it's been eight hours since the last was born. She looks calm and relaxed. Maybe there's just two. Time to go back to bed because it's 2 a.m. So Pepper just had the two puppies. She's ate and drank a bunch. I'm trying to convince her to go outside since she's ate and drank so much. And she doesn't want to go outside. I even took the puppies. It's like six in the morning right now. So I took the puppies and started walking away hoping she'd follow. And she was just like, oh, whew, thanks for the break. <laughs> friend stopped by who Pepper knows and he came down into the basement and Pepper immediately popped up and started barking um, but then was happy to see him but I was like you know what Pepper we're gonna take this time to take you outside for a little bit of a walk I wanted to go to the washroom but Pepper's never really walked much on a leash so I don't know if she's even gonna go to the washroom while she's on a leash sky blue you just leave her alone okay she's feeling a little tender Hi, Rowan. Yeah. Come on. What a healthy dog Pepper is. 24 hours after giving birth. And she just ran over here to go to the washroom. She doesn't like to leave her puppies. We have to kind of drag her, convince her to come out. Literally 26 hours since she gave birth. Oh, taking a dump. You look so happy, Pepper. Oh, you're gonna chase something? Oh, a cat, of course. Who? I wish I could run like that right after I give birth. Oh, <laughs> they lost it. Oh, no, they just jumped a fence for it. Sassafras. No, no, they're both just cozy um, and trying to sleep right bit. now. I don't know how they're Come sleeping. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Did they sit with us? They're hungry. They're hungry. You're hungry. They're hungry. No, I just Mouth. brought them up for a few minutes while Pepper's outside. And I'll bring them back down. The pepper puppy. Dan's chewing on Anne's nose, it looks like. Puppy. <laughs> puppy. Or at least Anne's puppy. nose is in Dan's puppy. nose. Puppy. <laughs> Something I want to touch on here real quick is while this breeding of Pepper and Cleombrotus was technically not on purpose, um, we have appointments booked for them and we had kept them separate when Pepper was in heat and she normally is only in heat twice a year, like every six to nine months. So we kept them separate. And then a month or two later, we were away and my brother-in-law texts me that they have tied and it's like, Huh? She was just in heat. Like we had no idea she was going to be in heat again. So these puppies are a quarter Border Collie, a third Bernese Mountain Dog, and a third Maremma. And we're pretty excited about them. Having a dog whelp and experience puppies is something I've always wanted to do. And two is just such a reasonable number to do that with. And we've had multiple friends say that they're looking for a new farm dog. So we are going to be very particular about where these puppies go. They need to go to homes where they have lots of space. And in the meantime, we are just going to snuggle the heck out of these pups. Oh, somehow you managed to get on the couch here, Pepper, with your puppies. Lucky you. Lucky Pepper. I'm gonna sit with 
Yeah, the puppies probably they just disappear up. into her. <laughs> yeah, Are you, you can see little Anna a bit because she's brown. She's wiggling around a bunch. <laughs> she's big Dan's not much wiggling around that much. And the girl is different. We should bring Pepper's thing upstairs so now that we can it. so that we can just let her out all the time, and the puppies will get no. The puppies will You were holding the puppies. You can have it back. It's she's not nursing. You can hold her. Big Dan just got weighed. He's one pound, fifteen ounces. And little Anne, who we now call Chubby Ann because she's Chubby way bigger. Ann. She's two pounds, fifteen ounces now. Or two pounds, thirteen ounces. Dance to one pound I love the brown on her face. Hey, the puppy is looking, not looking at you. No, her eyes aren't open yes, yet. They're yes. nine days old today. They get older and their eyes are open. Yeah. Were you second place in the arch? There you are. Oh, is the puppy drinking from your little cup? Oh, be gentle with the puppy. No, it's okay. Puppy doesn't want any. Milky, milky. Yes, puppy drinks milk from her mama. Who's the puppy's mama? Pepper? Oh, yeah. 